Good afternoon, it's uh, Anil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading, the 8th of November 2017. Please be, mar please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now uh, let's look into US markets yesterday, certainly finishing more or less flat, although uh, certainly coming off the highs and uh, certainly finishing weaker to, to, to that extent. Uh, we have concerns. Uh, first of all, number one, concerns with regards to North Korea. Number two, concerns with regards to tax cuts, them potentially going through, and uh, certain opposition and obstacles that may well obviously lie ahead uh, and are currently uh, ahead as well. Okay. Uh, now, also, we have uh, concerns with regards to for a weaker Chinese data overnight as well. That certainly is another factor. Snap uh, earnings certainly fell, although uh, Tencent has bought a 10% stake. Uh, into snap and that certainly has reversed the uh, decline okay um we have concerns over saudi as well although the market certainly chose to ignore that on monday so let's see if that continues okay so that's the status quo at present in terms of the market in terms of uh, uh, technicals uh, we'll certainly come on to them uh, in terms of uh, fundamentals for the rest of the u.s market session is only uh, mortgage applications that have come in more or less flat uh, zero uh, coming in more or less flat uh, in terms of the rest of the day, there's no real major market moving news, okay, in terms of the US, okay. Now, let's look at the actual technical picture in terms of the US market. So, start off with the Dow, okay, so the Dow at the moment on the daily chart obviously continues its high highs and higher lows, uh, and one would presume that it continues to maintain a bullish stance. So, it's only not until proven guilty, although the 60-minute um, the, the chart, Again, higher highs and higher lows. Uh, the 10 minute chart certainly is showing some sign of weakness. Let's see if that's, this can continue. Certainly, the bounce off that uh, that lower level. We actually hit a pivot high of 23,600. Uh, now, do we continue or do we stall here? That's the question, okay? Especially with regards to doubts over for, uh, tax cuts going forward. Uh, the Dow Transport certainly maintains its weakness of lower lows and lower highs. Uh, as you can see, daily chart certainly under pressure has taken out the previous resistance equals high which really is a cause for concern. So again, we'll keep an eye out for the uh, <clears throat> Dow transports in terms of the breakout. Okay, that certainly is the heart, certainly is following the, the potential fiscal stimulus. Now, let's move on to S&P 500 now. Let's see exactly where we are here. Uh, S&P on the daily chart, first and foremost, you can see the volume uh, certainly did increase there on the sell side, certainly a doji candle was put in. So the highs were rejected. 60 minute chart, we had a pivot high 25, 2597 before the market certainly rejected that and then started to reverse. Uh, you are seeing a potential higher, uh, a potential rising contracting wedge type pattern forming. So again, that certainly is a cause for concern as well for the uh, the actual bulls, okay? 10 minute chart, let's see now whether or not we can re retest that previous high uh, to 2597 or do we put in a lower high? and then start to reverse okay so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out okay in terms of the s p if we do for for move lower than 2580 is support and you have further support at 2570. okay in terms of the rest of the market let's see how we're performing there in terms of cross ruffling start with the russell uh, the russell really has put in a hns formation we are looking to potentially flush down to gap fill at 144 you can see the hourly chart certainly is in play. Daily chart certainly held resistance. That bear flag certainly has played out. And one would presume that you are looking to target that gap. So let's see if we can close that gap. Let's see how the market responds there. Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, the rest of the market, let's look at the uh, NASDAQ now. Also looking at the VIX as well. The VIX certainly is attempting to make a base here around this 27.5 level. Let's see if that maintains to happen as well. In terms of the rest of the market, let's move on to the NASDAQ now. Okay, the NASDAQ still remains bullish, even with the obviously earnings with regards to SNAP. Let's see if that has an effect. Okay, so the 10 minute chart certainly has resistance seen here at 63.28. Okay, let's see if that can maintain. We have 60 minute chart as well. Uh, certainly looking at resistance here on the 60 minute chart so do we hold double top or do we start to remove higher that's the question okay in terms of the nasdaq daily chart certainly is overtly bullish okay nothing stopping the nasdaq from certainly moving higher and let's see how that plays out now let's look at its peers 
first one is the semiconductors and the biotech. So looking at biotech at the moment, building a base. One would presume biotech wants to move higher, and therefore the FTSE certainly is set to move higher as well. Uh, semiconductors, nothing stopping this at all. Daily chart remains bullish. 60-minute chart remains bullish. Everything certainly is looking to to move higher from that perspective. So conclusion here, really, the bias remains bullish on the Nasdaq. Uh, certainly no uh, sign of any real weakness there, uh, which in turn obviously will help the S&P 500 as well, and obviously European equities too. Okay, so that certainly is a status quo uh, with regards to the market. So again, keep watching out for tax cut concerns, Saudi concerns, North Korea concerns. They are your three main zone areas to watch today. No real economic data on docket. Okay. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.